Hello. I just want to do a video on uh, wiring a forward reversing magnetic motor starter, which has that push button interlock. Uh, so watch one of my previous videos about this push button interlock if you're not sure what I'm talking about. Basically, this is my schematic for my circuit with push button interlock, and now I want to wire to this remote uh, control station. So I got a stop button, a forward start button, and a reverse start button. Now the trick here, right, I'm going to want to go from my schematic diagram to my wiring diagram over here. So I've got my five NEMA terminals, NEMA 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over here, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over here on my schematic. So basically, I'm just going to follow through the diagram. So I go from NEMA 1 to the left side of my stop button. Now the big thing I like to do is just keep my left sides and my right sides correct, and I'm not going to have any problem with that wiring. So from NEMA 1, I go to the left side of my stop. So stop, NEMA 1. Okay, connect those up. Perfect. Then I'm going from the right side of my stop. I'm going to the left side of the normally closed set of contacts of my reverse start button. Now remember, these normally closed sets of contacts are from my reverse start button. So that would be reverse start button, normally closed, right side of stop, as well as the left side of the normally closed of my forward start button. That's my forward start button, so now I make those connections. Just like that. Awesome, so now I keep going. Now I'm into my start circuits, so now I'm going, we're going to do the top first, from the right side of my normally closed of my reverse start button, going to the left side of my normally open of my forward start, and to NEMA 2. So, from the right side normally closed of reverse, I'm going to the left side of forward start, and back to NEMA 2. And again, starting far away and working my way up or left to right if that's how you're working. Up to NEMA 2. Awesome. So now I keep plugging away. I'm going to finish the top. So from the right side of my forward start, my normally open, I'm going to NEMA 3. So right side, normally open. Going up to NEMA 3. All right, which makes sense. My forward start button, the normally open contacts are in parallel with NEMA 2 and NEMA 3, which of course has my holding contacts there in my starter. So now the last step. Now I'm going to finish my reverse circuit. So I've already done that. Now from the right side of my normally closed of my forward start, right, normally closed of my forward start, I'm going to the left side of my reverse start, and I'm going to NEMA 4. So I'm going from here, NEMA 4, to, and to here, the left side of my normally open. So, starting at one end, go to there, up to NEMA 4. Awesome. Now just to finish it off, I go from the right side of the normally open, to that NEMA 5, right side normally open, NEMA 5, and I will make that connection. Perfect. So that's kind of what my diagram would look like, and I know it's a little bit confusing here, so it's something that's going to take a little bit of practice and quite a, pay a lot of attention to detail. But when I do have this push button interlock, the minimum number of conductors I can have from my motor starter to my push button station would be five conductors. Uh, thanks for watching.